Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do the ready for Christmas tag. This tag was sent to me by Lily Anna 2010 Now I did a holiday traditions tag last year and I just thought it was so much fun. I just love this time of year. I love everything about it. I love the music and the food and the decorations and the lights and the traditions and everything. So I just really like tags that are kind of holiday based. This one is kind of specifically to Christmas, but I really kind of want to make sure that I include everyone. So if you don't celebrate Christmas, but you celebrate something else, you can tweak the questions and change it up and do your own little version. That's completely okay. And I'm tagging every single one of you guys. I just did a tag on my main channel. And even though I tag every single pe person, every single people, every single person in the video, a lot of people were like, in the comments they were writing like can you tag me I really want to do this but I haven't been tagged and I just kind of want to let you guys know that it's really not that strict and anyone that wants to do it can and if you want to be tagged you can just say I tagged you so I'm tagging everyone please do this it's fun tag videos are like kind of my favorite videos to watch well, I like to watch all kinds of videos. So question number one, what's your favorite? Oh, before I get started, sorry, I'm a little bit woo today. Okay, before I get started, I just want to tell you guys that there's two holiday tags that I found this year, and I really want to do both of them. So I'm doing this one today, and I'm going to edit and upload it today, and then I'm going to do the other one either tomorrow or the next day or sometime before Christmas. So you guys are going to get both because I just think holiday tags are really fun, and I just want to do them both. And I feel like I'm a little, like, white right now. I actually, um... I opened up all my windows. I got up at 7.30 this morning, and I don't really know why, but I was tweeting. But um, I'm not a morning person, but I woke up and I was like opening my windows. I'm like, sunshine, come in. I raided my mom's closet. This is actually my mom's like little dress thing. I was just like, and this is her necklace, and this is her ring. Um, so yeah, and she painted my nails. Isn't she so cute? She was like, can I paint your nails? And I was like, yeah, thanks, because she can do it a whole lot better than I can do my own nails. Okay, anyway, question number one. What's your favorite holiday movie? I have two. This is a really good question. Okay, so my absolute favorite holiday movie is Chevy Chase's Christmas Vacation, which is, I guess, is National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. And that's because ever since it came out, which I think it came out when I was like one years old, my dad, my whole family has watched it every single Christmas Eve of my life. We rented this movie and we watch it. And it's kind of like one of the bigger traditions of our Christmas Eve because we watch it every single year. And um, I love it. I, it's very old because it was made in like 1989 or something, but it's so good. And um, we quote it constantly and my family will have like little quotes from it. It's just such a cute movie. If you guys haven't seen it, I actually just rented it on iTunes for like $2.99. So you don't even have to go anywhere. You can just rent it on iTunes for like 24 hours or something. Okay. Oh, and my second favorite Christmas movie is a more modern one and it's The Santa Claus. I think that movie is hilarious. I love it. Um, out of all of the Christmas movies that have come out, like kind of in my generation, that was definitely my favorite one, and I watch it every single Christmas. I think it's so cute. If you guys haven't seen it, it's really, really cute. And it's very kid-friendly. Okay, number two, what's your favorite Christmas color? So I know Christmas colors are red and green, and I love red and green, and red and green are my sorority colors as well, the colors of a rose. And so I do like those colors, and I have a lot of decorations in those colors because of my sorority. I was an Alpha Chi Omega, by the way. I think my favorite Christmas color is like a cranberry color because I really like wearing cranberry colors and cranberries are really pretty on if you have like blue or green eyes, which I do. So I like wearing cranberries on my eyes a lot as well. And I just think it's such like a warm color. I love it. I also really like gold. So probably gold and cranberry are my favorite Christmassy colors. Number three, do you like to stay in your PJs or dress up for Christmas? We stay in our PJs in my family. We do not dress up for Christmas. We dress up on Christmas Eve and we, you know, we go all out on that day and we do everything we need to do. But Christmas, we stay in our PJs the whole day. It's amazing. We love it. So definitely stay. In. I, I do remember one year though when I was little. I'm like really rambling a lot in this video. Um, and I'm looking a lot of places. I think it's because like the sun is blinding me a little bit. Like I'm kind of squinty because it's like right there. So I kind of feel like I'm melting a little bit. I'm melting because I'm like a vampire, you know, so I'm kind of like, ugh, light. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, one year when I was little, we had like an entire extended family Christmas. And I, I remember my mom made me dress up that year before we could go out and open presents. And I wasn't used to that. And so I remember really not liking it at the time. But I think it's nice in theory. So I think if you're like, if that's what your family does, it's like a nice idea. And since getting older, like when I was little, I would just run out there like hair crazy, like, you know, everything. Now I get up and I put a little bit of makeup on and I like, I kind of, you know, touch myself up, but I wear my PJs. Number four, if you could only buy one person a present this year, who would it be? So I'm actually going to kind of 
combine my one person into a couple, it would be my mom and dad. Um, because I would not be who I am, I would not be where I am today without them, and I, I just really appreciate them, and so it would definitely be my mom and dad. They are very, very, very supportive of Blair and I, and they've just always, they've just shaped me who I, into who I am today, so I just really appreciate them. Although I do want to get my sister's presents as well. I just did all my Christmas shopping for my littlest sister and I'm really excited. Okay, number five. Do you open your presents Christmas Eve or Christmas morning? We open them on Christmas morning, but it's always like six o'clock in the morning. It's like really, really early. And yeah, we, we've we always done it that way because we always wake up and we're like, we can't sleep anymore, like little brat children. Although on Christmas Eve, we're each allowed to open one present each. And it's been like a tradition since I was a little kid. And um, my mom will always kind of like pick which present she thinks we should open. It's always like pajamas or a good movie or a good game that we can like really enjoy on Christmas Eve. So when I was little, I would never listen to her and I would just go for like the biggest present and I would want to open that on Christmas Eve. But now that I've gotten older, I always listen to her because I always know it's the thing I'm going to really appreciate on Christmas Eve. Number six, have you ever built a gingerbread house? I have, but never by myself. I've always done it with friends, and it's always been really messy, and there's always stuff everywhere. And Blair bought a gingerbread house that we have at our apartment in LA that we never ended up doing, and we probably should do that. Maybe we'll do it like late in January. We can be like, surprise, gingerbread house. They're really fun to make, but they are really messy, and they always get everywhere, and it's always like a big project. Number seven, what do you like to do on your Christmas break? Oh, wow. Well... Um, I like to do everything holiday related. So Christmas shopping, wrapping presents, cooking cookies, cooking cookies, um, putting up lights, like I spending time with my family. I just love it. I also take a lot of, um, baths with like, like right now, Cinder's bath bomb is like calling my name. It's, it's been in there. I'm like, every night I take a bath and I'm like, should I use it? Should I use it? And I'm like, I'm going to save it until it's closer to Christmas. I just love Christmas a lot. Um, I like listening, like blaring, like really gaudy Christmas music through the house. I just think that's really fun. Um, number eight, any Christmas wishes? My Christmas wish is that my littlest sister um, has the best Christmas ever because she's kind of who it matters the most this year because um, she's kind of the baby of the family and I just hope that she has a really amazing Christmas. I think it's really hard for her having Blair and I. My voice is like giving out. What is wrong with me today? I think the sun is like melting my vocal cords. It's like, Arr. I feel like I'm getting a sunburn like through my window. I feel like she's having a little bit of a hard time with Blair and I being gone and she was used to me being gone because I was in college um, and it just I, it just occurred to me how weird it was that I'm talking to myself, even though I've done it for two and a half years. For some reason, just then it like went through my head like, you're weird, you're talking to a camera. She's she's like struggling having both of us gone because she's always had a sister there. She's always had Blair, you know? Okay, number nine, favorite Christmas smell. That is easy. My favorite Christmas smell is Christmas tree, pine tree. I love that smell. And my mom and dad won't let us get real trees anymore because they think it's a fire hazard because apparently like if you don't water it enough or something with the lights and stuff, it can get really dry and it can spark a fire. And last year, one of the houses in my neighborhood um, caught fire because of a tree. So she, they're just like really, they don't like having real trees. But I do like going and getting those little um, scented pine cones you can buy like in the little bags that smell like Christmas tree and put them in like um, bowls around the house. Because I mean, it kind of does the same thing, but... Real Christmas trees are awesome. I really wanted to get one this year. I started a trending topic on um, Twitter, a hashtag. It never trended, obviously. It was just me. But it was hashtag get L a real Christmas tree because I really wanted one. And I was going to sneak it in and name her Little Pinecone and keep her in my room. And I was going to dress her in a dress so my parents couldn't tell she was a tree because I thought that that would be a really good idea. And number 10, favorite Christmas meal or a treat? So my favorite treat is when I was really, really little and we lived in Georgia, we had this neighbor and I was really, really good friends with the daughter. She was my age. She was like one year older than me. And my mom was like best friends with the girl's mom. She lived like right down the street from us. They were like best friends and neighbors and all this stuff. And she was an amazing cook. And every single year for Christmas to this day, they send us a Christmas box with like tons of different homemade cookies. And it's amazing. It's always like a huge box. And we wait for it every year because we know it's coming. We send them presents every year too. But every year we like, fingers crossed that it still comes, that we haven't been taken off the list because it's been so long since we've seen them. But every year without fail, they send us this Christmas box. And it really is like that. It's kind of a tradition. It's like one of our highlights of 
this time of year and it came um like two nights ago and so we have i don't even think we've opened it yet but um because we're saving it but she like packages it all and stuff where it doesn't like go bad or anything for a while and we just we love it so that's kind of my favorite treat my favorite cookie that she makes is she always has in the box is butter cookies and um they're basically like little like shortbread cookies with like chocolate and pistachios i think she makes it with almonds when my mom makes it she makes it with pistachios at the end and it's just really good so that's my favorite christmas treat those were the 10 questions, the ready for Christmas tag. Like I said, definitely change the questions around, questions, change the questions around if you celebrate a different um, holiday. Don't feel like you can't do this tag. I would love for all of you guys to do this tag and video response it or comment with your questions if you don't want to film a video, that's easier and I still will read through them. A lot of people ask me like if I read through all my comments and stuff. I do read all of the comments on the newest video. So if, if you ever like want to get me to respond to a comment, it's easiest if you put it on whatever my newest video that I uploaded is. And for the first like couple days after the video goes up, I'm always like reading through the comments and responding and stuff. So that's the easiest way to get a response if you're looking for one. So that was all 10 questions. I don't really have anything else to say, but I kind of don't feel like I'm ready to stop talking yet. But um, that was all. So I think I'm done. I think. I'm pretty sure. This was a long video. I'm not really sure how to end it. I'm stuck. I'm panicking. All right, bye.